Hello viewers, this is Dr. Too Fast here. In today's video, I will show you this very affordable LED projector. This one I have here is from the company Arpenken and the model number is YG600. This projector supports full HD 1920 by 1080. The light source used in this unit is a super bright LED chip and is 70% brighter than most 3500 Lux LED projectors. It has a brightness of 2000 lumens. This makes it a good choice for your home entertainment, playing video games, or watching movies. The lifetime use of the LED is rated at 3000 hours. This unit also has many different interface ports, including HDMI, VGA, AV connector, micro SD card, and USB. So you're able to connect your Blu-ray player, streaming media player, set-top box, gaming console, or your PC. As for the projected image size, it has a range of 44 inch all the way cable, VGA cable, HDMI cable, remote control, user manual, and this is the projector itself. Let's have a closer look at this projector. On the front is a lens cap you can remove. Next to the lens is the infrared receiver for the remote control. Below that, if you push this, it'll extend the leg. So if you put this on a tabletop, you can adjust the height of this. This big dial at the front is for focusing. The dial at the back is a keystone adjustment. If the projector is not placed perpendicular to the horizontal line of the screen, so for example, if this is mounted too high or too low, then the projector image will be skewed. You'll use this dial to adjust the rectangular shape of the image. Over here is a four-way navigation. In the middle is the enter button. This is the power button, return button, source button, and the menu button. Let's have a look at the back. Here we have the power plug, on-off switch, VGA port, two HDMI input, USB 5.0 output, USB input port, AV port, headphone jack, micro SD card, and the infrared receiver for the remote control. At the bottom here, we also have the cooling fan. To power the unit on, plug the power cable, turn on the power switch, press the power switch. Now when you're setting up the projector, there is a guide you need to follow for the distance where you place this projector from the screen and the projector size on the screen. So for example, if you place this five feet from the screen, the image will be 44 inch. If you place it six and a half feet away from the screen, then the image size is gonna be 64 inch. And if you place it 18 feet from the screen, then the projected image will be 200 inch. This is a screen that you'll see when you first power on the unit. You have four categories at the top, movie, music, photo, and text. On the remote control, if you press the source button, you can select different inputs, VGA, HDMI, AV. I'm gonna select HDMI one. My receiver output is connected to the HDMI one right now. Here I've set up the projector 10 feet away from the wall and the size of the image you're looking at is 115 inch. The projector is placed 30 inches from the floor. Now right now I'm not using any projector screen I'm simply using the wall in my living room, so the actual image quality can definitely improve if I was using a proper projector screen. Right now I'm using my Roku box and I have the YouTube app open. I'm watching a YouTube video. Now since the projector is not placed perpendicular to the screen, I had to adjust the keystone. Let me change the adjustment and you can see a difference. So here's one way. You can see the image is not square. Change it the other way around. So if you install this high up on the ceiling or low on the floor, you need to adjust the keystone. Overall, I find the performance of this projector to be very good. It has nice image quality. Both contrast and chroma is very good, considering I'm not using a projector screen. This is a good buy. At the time of doing this review, you can get it on Amazon for $200.
Usually you have to pay a lot more for a good quality projector. Now if you're interested in getting this unit, I will include the link in the description below. Let me know what your thoughts about this device in the comments section. I hope you enjoy watching this review and remember to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.